Yeah, this is the guppy. I have this exact same fish. Anyway. <laughs> Hello beautiful people and welcome back to on our channel. My name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. Also check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And you might be wondering why is that? Because simply I'm working for you. So today I'm going to tell you or talk about why you should use subdomains for your Shopify store. And this is really important and I would just not talk about it. I will give you some live examples. You will see some Shopify stores that's using extension so you can tell the difference and you can see if it's good or not just not just by using my words so uh, in case also if you don't know what is a subdomain for example i'm accessing right now google search engine so google.com is the domain name and if you access the gmail which is mail.google.com mail is the subdomain so google.com is the domain name and mail.google.com is the subdomain for google.com a little bit confusing but you get the idea and after i show you the example you will it will be more clear so so why you should use subdomains for your shopify store the first reason is they are free <laughs> yes they are free you do not pay for them or anything like that once you own google.com you can create any subdomain behind google.com obviously whatever the name is it's not it's not like limited like the domain names you can you're, you're gonna see if it's limited or not or if it's available or not so it does not have any limits and completely free so once you, you own a domain name you can create a limited number of subdomains completely free and the best case why you should use the subdomains for your shopify stores is the trustworthy and the legitness of the website or shopify store why is that for example us that store.com looks more legit and trustworthy for us customers right it's really obvious uh, ca.store.com ca stands for canada which is the extension name for canada so it looks more trustworthy and legit for uh, customers based in canada that's really obvious even though if i'm in uh, if i'm us and i saw uh, us.store.com it looks more legit and in examples i will show you you will see what i'm what i mean what i'm talking about and also shopify is really really easy to handle subdomains on it it's really easy when it comes to to wordpress or other platforms uh, it's complicated when it comes to analytics because the, to to set up the uh, different analytics for the subdomain and domain and you need to combine them it, uh, there is some analytics issues however on shopify they handle all that for you you, you no need to worry about that and not just in the us for example if you're doing also dropshipping or e-commerce in uk uh, uk.store.com looks more trustworthy legit for uk based customers and that's really obvious and that's why you should use subdomains for your shopify store instead of using the just the single uh, domain and right now let's just get to the live examples to see for yourself what i'm talking about so let me give me a moment to open them here so here they are i have for you four examples here which is all uh, shopify stores not some random uh, the store that's using different platform this is actually shopify stores if we scroll all the way down to the bottom page here as you can see it says powered by shopify as you can see here so this is all shopify stores and the first one is yeah it looks funny <laughs> meme box <laughs> do you remember that video of that woman uh, she was like got sued for some meme she made for someone or something like that and she was like talking to the judge and she said i did not make that meme and I didn't share that meme and I have never saw that meme <laughs> she she become a meme herself that's really funny so as you can see the store called memebox.com and if you notice it's not just memebox.com it's actually us.memebox.com so the subdomain is us and as I said you can easily create this for free and you don't have to pay any extra or anything like that so they use us for the us based customers so as you can see it looks more trustworthy for us based customers that's really really obvious so the second website or the shopify store it's called i am not basic i am not this is a really cool name by the way i'm not basic.com and the subdomain for it is us.imnotbasic.com 
So it really does look trustworthy for US based customers. And this is, as I said, also, oops, I need to, oops, no, no, no. YouTube does like that. So as you can see, it says powered by Shopify. This is a Shopify store that says women's clothing and average let's just close this. I don't want to do anything with you. <laughs> so the second website, the third website, sorry, is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that or what is that anyway as you can see the also the subdomain for it is us which is really good for uh, us customers and if we scroll down powered by shopify as well and the last one here it's called bioairb.com and also the subdomain for it is us.bioairb.com oh i saw some guppies i saw some guppy fishes i have fish is this about fish? No, I don't think so. Yes, it is about the aquariums. This is really interesting. I have tons of fish. I have like over 50 fish. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting drifted here. As you can see, it says powered by Shopify. This is also a Shopify store and they sell uh, aquariums and terrariums in the US. So they got, yeah, this is the guppy. I have this exact same fish. Anyway. <laughs> So as you can see, they use the subdomain us.bioRP.com as their uh, their main website, their main domain name for US-based customers. So I hope you get the idea. And if you guys have any, any questions or any more video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or Instagram right here below me. Otherwise, I think my job it is done. So thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.